Aaron here for Zolotech, and a lot of you have been asking me if you should update to iOS 10.3. iOS 10.3 is a major change as far as what's under the hood, but not really initially. They changed the file system, and that's a pretty major change. They changed from HFS Plus to APFS. Apple's own file system. And so after using it a few days, I thought I'd share my thoughts since a lot of you have asked, is it good? Should I update? So let's take a look. First of all, it's really, really fast. I don't know if that's just psychological, but this feels incredibly quick compared to before. Everything's super smooth, super fast, and doesn't really lag whatsoever. That's part of the Apple file system. It's more efficient when it comes to solid state drives, how it handles basically everything. It's a future and forward thinking file system that should be a lot better, especially for Macs and large storage devices. So this particular version of iOS is far more stable than I thought it would be. Apple had all of these warnings all over it saying, be careful if you update, make sure you have a backup, that sort of thing. But so far it's been rock solid. This is the developer version. The public beta is also out. It's probably the same thing. And everything's just nice and smooth and quick. As far as battery, normally these betas, especially the early ones, 10.3, beta 1, beta 2, usually they're horrible on battery. This actually isn't bad at all. The battery's at 95%, and if we scroll down, you'll see it's 53 minutes of usage, one hour of standby, or an hour and a half, and we're at 95%, so it's, it's really not too bad at all. I easily get through the day, at least the past few days that I've been using this, without any problem whatsoever. So that's pretty nice. I, I was surprised by that. I thought 10.2.1 was pretty good. Uh, this, for me, is much better. I know some people have been having issues with 10.2.1, and that may be an issue hardware-wise because they recalled iPhone 6 batteries, and maybe they're going to do 6S soon. Now, as for the features that are in here, find my AirPods, those sorts of things, those are nice, and they work, but there's not a whole lot on the surface that you can see. They basically just tweaked a bunch of things, fixed a bunch of bugs, and it's really good. TV, the TV app actually works now. I know it's not available in all countries still, but it works great here for me and I have no issues really. So far the past couple days I've been using this, I haven't had to reboot it. I haven't had any random crashes or freezes, anything like that. And it's been working just basically like a, a straight to public release. So that's been really good and surprising. Hopefully in the future, Apple adds some features. I don't think we're going to see a dark mode that everybody wants, probably until iOS 11 or maybe even later when they introduce maybe an OLED screen. And that would make more sense because that would add to the power savings. But other than that, I'm not really sure uh, if we're even going to see theater mode on this particular version, which basically just blanks the screen and uses haptic feedback. So that's coming to the watch. We don't know if it's coming to the iPhone. They haven't announced yet. But be sure to check back as I'll do all the updates and things and let you know what's changed. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And this is the wallpaper that was actually sent in by a user. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing this right, but Mickey Stevanoski or, or Mikey, I'm not sure if that's the correct pronunciation, but thanks for sending this in. I'll link it in the description below. If you'd like to have your wallpaper maybe displayed here, shoot me a message through Twitter and follow me there and I normally will respond and take a look at it. Let me know how 10.3 has been for you though. And as always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.